Okay, after you've logged into your new WordPress blog, you're going to go to the dashboard. Um, we're just going to cover some things about the dashboard really quickly. This is an overview of your site. It's pretty much your site in one shot. Um, as you develop your blog, you'll see different things on here that will start to change over time. Um, a couple of things about the dashboard. Um, clearly, this up here is a link to your actual blog if you wanted to go and take a look at it. And uh, over here on your left is your navigation. You're going to find that, and this should be a pretty standard for a lot of people. Um, also, a little thing about the the navigation along the side is that uh, if you'll notice in between where each of these navigation bars break, the, your icon will change, your mouse icon. If you click on that, that'll actually compact your navigation on the side so you can save yourself a little bit more screen room if you have a limited screen. So you want to really try and maximize your real estate. Your stuff will come out, you just hover over it, and it'll all just come out here on the side instead. So it might save you a little bit of room. And you can click back in and it'll restore itself. Up here at the top, you'll have these things uh, that w it's commonly used things that you may want to do real quick that you don't want to necessarily have to navigate to along the menu. Or if you're somewhere else, you don't want to have to try and find your way back to it. Um, new posts, new pages, um, you know, upload media and your media library such as photos and other things. And then also your comment section. So that's a quick thing. Um, this right here, the right now, basically shows exactly what your blog is about. Tell you how many categories, pages, posts, tags, and how many comments you have, including the ones that are visible, the ones that you need to moderate in case they're spam, and the ones that have been flagged as spam. Also, it shows your theme, how many widgets you're using, and what type of WordPress you're using. If for any reason that you need to update it, it'll display it here, and it'll also display it down here. You can change your theme by clicking on this button very quickly. So, uh, Recent comments, if you have a comment that you may feel that you want to comment back on or maybe you uh, maybe it shows that maybe it might be something that's spam, it, you'll see some of the recent comments here with also a quick menu that pops down that you can do right there from the dashboard. If you say, well, that's actually a spam comment, I want to spam it or I maybe even just want to delete it. Um, plugins, this is from WordPress itself. Um, it's actually feeding to you directly. It's showing you kind of new plugins, popular plugins, uh, recently updated ones. So in case it's something that you might be interested in, kind of keeps you in the loop about what's going on in the plugins. Drafts, this is something that if you keep a lot of drafts uh, for common use or maybe it's something you haven't completed, it'll show there. It's not really something that's used that much depending on where you are. Um, also, the WordPress development blog shows you what's going on in the WordPress world, such as right now, as of the recording, Beta 2 just came out for WordPress 3.0, so if some people like to see what's going on in the new versions of WordPress, it'll show you that kind of stuff here. Uh, other WordPress news, it's just basically their feed of their different things. And your incoming links down here at the bottom. Your incoming links will basically show you how many people are linking to your blog. So. Basically what you want to do is just find out if you wanted a quick overview without having to do the manual searching yourself, that will do that for you. So it's a really nice thing to have. Um, also another thing is that the WordPress news is configurable and so is incoming links. If you wanted to configure exactly where the reader was for your incoming links, you can click on the configuration right here and adjust it accordingly. This is a little bit more advanced, so some people may not want to do this. So, uh, so if you have a lot of items coming in and new ones coming in every day, maybe you want to see which ones are coming in, or if maybe you don't really care, you just want to show five. Um, if you want to display the date that they were added, you can do that too. So it's just a quick option for you to have. Same thing for the other WordPress news, you can configure it. And the best part about other WordPress news is that this is actually a feed reader. So if you have something maybe in your industry that you want to use, you can actually put anything you want in here, any feed at all. So if you wanted to feed from your favorite blog or your top digs or your you know stumble upon, uh, you can put any feed in there. It just says WordPress news for now. So if you want to, that's just a, a quick feed reader for you to use at your disposal. It's not just WordPress news. Another handy feature about the dashboard that a lot of people don't really know about is the screen options and help sections. Uh, these are actually everywhere and they're configurable uh, across a multitude of pages, so they kind of change depending on what page you're on. But where it has some of the most robust options is on the dashboard. So if you click this, a drop down will come up and you can basically show what you do or do not want to see every time you log in. 
um, other WordPress news, the development blog, your drafts, that kind of stuff you don't really care about, so it doesn't really matter and you don't need to use it. Um, the plugins, and you can make all that go away. Also, if you have a lot of uh, dashboard widgets, um, a lot of plugins might start to display them after a while, and so it's kind of making it crowded. You can adjust how many columns your dashboard is showing, and that'll automatically uh, update, and you can switch things around on the fly. So I want that right there, my recent comments on the right, and that can help you organize it in a different way, let's say if you have a lot of widgets. So that's another thing that you can do with the screen options. One last thing I didn't mention was the quick press. Quick press basically allows you to, if you have a quick thought or something that you just really need to get down really fast, you can put that in the quick press area. Um, it does not have a rich text editor like the regular posting does, so remember that. So this is usually very plain text content that you're going to be putting in the quick press area. So that about a, that pretty much does it for the dashboard, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.